Hey, Jim Duncan with Nest Realty and RealCentralVA.com here talking in the Charlottesville market about how to price a house. Uh, there are so many externalities right now that, for which we cannot account that affect house prices. You look at the list, you know, what's happening in Greece, what's happening with the euro, what's happening with the oil spill, gas prices, building permits, interest rates, increasing short sales, increasing foreclosures, immigration, shadow inventory, the lack thereof of the knowledge regarding shadow inventory, banks' inability to process short sales and foreclosures. There are so many things for which we cannot account. We think that we know we think we know what's happening with them, but we don't really know. So how do you price a house? It's really kind of simple, uh, in, in my opinion. This is a, a, a truncated version of what I tell my clients when I'm doing my, uh, my data-laden market analyses. If you have three good, active, comparable homes against which you are competing, price it less than them. It's really that simple, in my opinion. You know, if, if you have three houses that I'm going to show my buyer on Saturday afternoon, and they're all at you know, 300, 295, 315, and your house is very comparable, I, I know it, it, might, it might be better, and you might love it, and it might be you know, a better value, but the buyers have to perceive that it's a better value. So if you have 295, 305, 315, you might want to consider being 275 or 274.9, so you get under that psychological threshold when people are searching for homes online. Um, it's a tough market. There's no, there's no two ways about it, and it takes patience, and it takes knowledge, and it takes an ability to un understand and acknowledge and accept that really, in a lot of cases, we don't know what we don't know. So try to keep it simple, stupid. Jim Duncan, 434-242-7140, realcentralva.com. Welcome your feedback, thoughts, criticisms, what have you. Have a great day.